All right, so we all know by now that Angular 2 is a front-end, client-side framework. So there's no user login or registration functionality at its core. So that means that we have to implement some kind of third-party solution. So that's what we'll be doing in this project. We're going to be building an authentication system application so that we can register, we can have users register and log in, and also implement some access control. Now to do this, we're going to be using Auth0, which is a really nice full-featured user authentication system. We can have users register and sign up using all types of social network accounts like Facebook or Twitter, Amazon, and they can also create an account with a standard username and password. So this is the Auth0 website, Auth0.com, if you want to check it out. Um, there are premium accounts, but we can also use it for free as well. All right, now our application is it's it's only going to do the user authentication. We're not going to add any other types of functionality, but this is something that you could implement on um, the other projects in this course as well as your own custom projects. So we're going to be use Twitter Bootstrap for our UI, and basically we have a nav bar. It has a login link here. If we click that, it's going to open up. Well, this right here is only opening up because I already logged in as a user. So it's asking if uh, I want to use that user again so I don't have to log in again, which is a really nice feature. But initially, you'll get a box like this. So you can go ahead and you can log in with Facebook, Google, Twitter by default, but you can also add and remove social networks. And of course, you can use um, a custom, you know, your own email and password. All right, so I already have an account, but if you don't, you can sign up as well. You just click the sign up tab. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Okay, so we'll log in. And now you can see we get the text that says you are logged in. So we have um, access control that we can work with. What it does is it sets a, uh, gives you a token that we're going to store in local storage, and that's how we can tell if we're logged in or not. Now up here we now have a logout link and we have a profile link. If I click profile, it's going to take us to a uh, profile page, which I may or may not add user information here uh, in the project. But what's nice is this page is protected. So if I go ahead and I log out, and you'll see the profile link is gone, but that's not enough. We don't want to be able to go to slash profile. And if I do that, we just get redirected. And if I open the console up, you'll see it says blocked by auth guard. So we're going to set up this auth guard to be able to implement access control on certain routes. All right, now if we go to our dashboard at auth.0, which is manage.auth.0.com, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, okay? It tells us all our, our statistics, the number of users, the number of logins, new signups. Um, if I click on users, it'll give us all the users and click on that and there's all kinds of information here all right devices history locations um, just a whole bunch of stuff and i i haven't gone through all of this either um, there's certain connections you can have to other users so it's a really in-depth system all right so in the next video we'll jump in and we'll start to get this set up we're going to use the quick start and um, we'll move on to create a service to interact with auth0 all right so let's go ahead and get started